this is another lung. You could see that instantly. You could see some alveoli out here, some of which are over distended, or in other words, emphysematous. And you can also see fibrotic areas here. This is another case of silicosis of the lung. But if you remember in our last case, the uh, granulomas were a little bit scattered. In this case, they are kind of coalescing to form a large scarred area. So you could either think of this whole area here as a large area of fibrosis, or you could think of it as perhaps a uh, coalescing of seven, eight, or 10 uh, granulomas, because if you look uh, very carefully, they look exactly like the fibrotic or healed granulomas that we saw in the other case of silicosis that had a lot of dense fibrous connective tissue in the middle and perhaps congested lung and macrophages and pigmented uh, cells with uh, anthracotic pigment more towards the periphery. Uh, one nice person has drawn a line to show you an area of fibrosis representing a coalescence of granulomas. Here's one that hasn't joined the group yet. And here's one out at the edge of the group. And there might be some more in here as well. In the last case, we told you that you really can't see silica particles per se. But if you were to look very carefully at these little granules here, they're not quite as black as uh, the uh, anthracotic pigments. And they're not quite as golden brown as the hemosiderin either, but probably here, here, maybe along here, maybe along here, but probably not here because this looks like anthracosis. If you were to do an assay on these particles, you would find indeed they were silica or some chemical variant of uh, uh, oxidized uh, silicon. And uh, there's a large amount of this overall quantitatively in the lung. I don't believe there's a special stain for silica, but there would probably be some way with some type of microscopy to isolate these uh, bodies better because sometimes that uh, evidence is needed if there's a compensation claimed for occupational related lung disease. Thank you very much.